Hi, I'm Eric Johnson, a senior developer advocate on the serverless applications team at AWS. I'm going to show you how to set up an automated integration and deployment pipeline for your application so you can start right when you create a new serverless project. Continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CICD, is a game changer when it comes to developer productivity. Automating your build, test, and release process enables you to reduce or eliminate the release tax that often slows teams down, allowing you to rapidly and reliably deliver features and updates. When you have a multiple engineers working on applications, CICD helps ensure the quality of your application by running each change through staging and release. It lets you quickly test each code change and catch bugs early in the process while they are small and simple to fix. To build a deployment pipeline for your serverless application on AWS, you can use AWS Code Build and AWS Code Pipeline. AWS Code Build is a fully managed continuous integration service that compiles source code, runs tests, and produces software packages that are ready to deploy. AWS Code Pipeline automates and orchestrates your software release process. With Code Pipeline, you can quickly iterate on feedback and get new features to your users faster. Now, I'm going to add a pipeline to an existing image processing app. This app uses Amazon recognition to detect text and labels in images. When you upload an image to Amazon S3, S3 sends an event to an AWS Lambda function with details of the file. The Lambda function then calls recognition to detect text and labels in the image. It then writes the text and labels into an Amazon DynamoDB table. You can find the source code of this app on the AWS Samples GitHub. To see how I set this up, watch the video I previously published using the link below. You can set up a deployment pipeline manually using Code Build or Code Pipeline, using CloudFormation, or by using CodeStar. I will demonstrate creating a CI/CD pipeline using an AWS SAM pipeline template that creates a generic three-stage CI/CD pipeline. You can find it in the AWS Samples GitHub repository. Here's an overview of the pipeline we're going to build. The pipeline gets triggered when there's a commit to the master branch. It then builds the code using code build, deploys the changes to a beta stack, and then a staging environment. Finally, it waits for a manual approval to release it to your production stack. Let's get started. Here's my existing service application. The source folder contains the source of the Lambda function. The template.yaml is the SAM template and contains a definition of our infrastructure. This template shows a function that's configured to time out at 30 seconds and use 512 megabyte of memory. In this video, instead of changing this manually, we'll change these settings using an automated pipeline. First, let's use the SAM CLI to package and deploy the current version of this app to the cloud. The SAM package command creates a zip of your code and dependencies, uploads it to S3, and updates the template to point to that S3 location. Once that's done, you use the SAM deploy command to create a CloudFormation stack. On the Lambda console, you can see a list of all your serverless applications. Drilling deeper into AWS SAM OCR test, the one we just deployed, we can see a list of all the resources that got deployed. Going deeper into the function, we can see that this function is configured to time out at 30 seconds and use 512 megabyte of memory. Now, instead of changing this manually, we will change these settings using the automated pipeline. Because our pipeline is going to be triggered by committing code to a Git repository, the first thing we need to do is initialize a GitHub repository locally so we can sync it with our existing remote Git repository. To create the local repository, I type git init in the root folder. To link these repositories, I'm going to say git remote and add the origin. There you go. My local repository is set to commit to the remote repository when I push my changes later. Now. Let's create a new folder for the pipeline and call it pipeline. I'm going to go into that pipeline folder and use the SAM init command. First, we'll initialize the cookie cutter AWS pipeline application to copy the necessary files into our application. Let's name this AWS SAM OCR pipeline. Since I'm using GitHub, let's say two. Okay, now I have the files I need to set up my pipeline. Take a quick look in PyCharm and you will see several files have been added. The buildspec.yaml provides instructions for AWS code build on how to build our code. The pipeline.yaml file is our infrastructure description for everything we need to build the deployment pipeline. The pipeline instructions.md file contains a guide on how to deploy the pipeline. Because the buildspec.yaml needs to be in the root of the project, I'm gonna copy that out. There are different configuration changes I can make in the pipeline.yaml file. However, 
Because we are building a simple Python application, the only thing we need to do is to create the parameters required for the pipeline to connect and communicate with our Git repo. But before we add the parameters, we need to obtain a personal access token from GitHub. A personal access token lets you log into GitHub without using a password. To get this token, follow the steps listed on the screen. In the top right corner, click on your profile picture. Choose Settings from the drop-down. On the left-hand navigation menu, choose Developer Settings near or at the bottom. Choose Personal Access Token. Click the Generate New Token button. You might be required to authenticate again. Choose a token description. I will use OCR-Token. Check the repo scope to allow code pipeline to access your repos. Click Generate at the bottom of the page. Copy and save the resulting token. Now that I have my token, I will move on to the parameters. The commands to create the required parameters are listed in the pipelineinstructions.md file. Running these commands will store the parameters in the Amazon EC2 parameter store. It is important to note that these parameters are not encrypted for this demonstration. If you are using a shared AWS account, your GitHub token can be seen by others who share this account. I'm going to copy these commands from the readme, paste them in, and update the names. The first is the repo name. The second is the token. And the third is my username. That's it for configuring the pipeline. Now that we have everything configured, the next step is to build our pipeline on AWS. Let's create this pipeline using the CloudFormation create stack command. This will call CloudFormation and create my pipeline. This uses the pipeline.yaml file, so you need to run it within the pipeline folder. After a few minutes, you should see the pipeline in the code pipeline console, ready to deploy code upon changes I commit. Now, let's try deploying a change to the timeout and memory configuration through the pipeline. Let's switch to the template. For this function, I don't need a lot of memory, but a little extra duration shouldn't hurt. Let's update memory size to 256 megabyte and the timeout to 45 seconds. To get these changes deployed, I need to commit them to the repository. First, we need to stage all files to be committed using the git add command. We then need to commit to the local repository using the git commit command. Finally, I will push our latest changes to the remote repository. At this stage, if I was working on a team, I would create a pull request for my code to be reviewed. But because it's just me, I'll push it to the master branch. The pipeline we created gets triggered by new git commits pushed to the master branch. Once triggered, it gets the latest source, starts a build, and then deploys it through the various stages. In a few minutes, you'll see your change moving through the pipeline and being deployed in two different stacks. If you go to the Lambda console, you can see this change reflected in the test and staging stacks. Right here, you see the timeout and memory settings have changed. Let's go back to the pipeline. This pipeline waits for a manual approval before deploying to production. Because everything looks good, I'm going to approve. And there you have it. Instead of having to deploy my change manually, I built a deployed through an automated deployment pipeline. When you're working on a team with multiple engineers, an automated deployment pipeline enforces quality and helps you deliver features and updates faster. You can find the pipeline template I used in the link below. To get started with serverless application development using SAM, go to aws.amazon.com slash serverless slash SAM. Build on.